Hey, this is Rover come in. Yeah, we've pushed as far on the hilltop as we can. Got activity on the road. Pretty good observation point. Roger. Roger. We'll establish. We'll check back in.
HQ, this is Robert. OP established at 371-842. I'll copy. Roger, we'll observe and report. Check in every hour. Rover out. Let's show you what we're working with. So I did some things loud just so you would hear what's going on. And I also wanted to show you how difficult it is to do something like this if you're really trying to be stealthy. So you'll notice I did everything from the prone, only sat up when I had to. Again, some of the noise I purposely amplified so you guys would hear what I'm doing. So. The whole point is we got to try to be as concealed as possible. We got to be protected from the elements, which also gives us some concealment. We could, we would throw this veil over us. So we got some overhang and I'll show you what that looks like from a distance in a little bit. First thing I did was got the weapon off the ground, put it on my mat, which is also what I did for me to get off the ground. Bungee cords. To hold up our poncho as low as we can we got a tent peg at each corner back there to keep the poncho from flopping around that'll protect my legs and everything but you see how low to the ground this is if we're talking about an op and i actually am spying on some dudes get the power company over there fixing some lines <laughs> they know i'm over here so i'm not going to be freaking people out if they see me um I told them to let me know if they do see me moving around, so that'll be a good test. Yeah, so we got this up, weapon is protected, we're protected. Now from here on out, everything you do is from the prone, everything. Peeing, eating, I got the bag up here, that's uh, to give me a pillow, weapon rest, um, also kind of help block the poncho and me, and then, you know, if I'm gonna grab cold weather gear out of this, I'm gonna have to crawl over there and do it from the prone. And everything takes five, 10 times as long as it normally would if you're just in a camp. So we got a little peephole to observe. We can peek around the tree. We can peek over there through the bushes. Let's back up and see what we're looking like. It's already kind of disappearing. So camouflage is important, but position choice is as important or importanter. Okay, so as we back away, notice what happens. We're starting to blend in. There's a natural shadow where these bushes, these baby pines meet that tree. So you, we're using that natural shadow which everything is dark back there. So unless the sun comes from behind us, straight in it, we're in a shadow. And then even if the sun does hit us from straight on, we've got the sniper veil. Now you do want to try to be concealed from all directions. We've got the top covered. Uh, if this weather passes, I'll get my drone up and show you guys what it looks like from the top. But 
come around. See, we need a dude in there moving around. So, I, you know, I don't know if it's picking up the poncho, but we're within 10 feet. So if somebody's this close to your OP, you messed up. You should have killed them and got out of there by now. Or they're going to kill you because you're sleeping. So we come around. Pretty good from this side. You can kind of see the frame from the pack a little bit. <clears throat> there it is. So we would have to consider that. One thing to pay attention to, if you are doing OPs and stuff, you're never done. You're always constantly rechecking your camouflage. If you can send a dude out to check it, that's the best. But either way, you're never just laying there looking through binoculars or playing with your radio or taking notes. You're always thinking about ways to improve it. Okay, so we got some underbrush over here that blocks that. All right, we're kind of on a slope. So this is the area we are observing. All right, so that means we're not worried about our rear for whatever reason. Maybe our patrol base is back there. If we are worried about that area, your second guy is gonna be miserable. He's gonna be laying downhill, checking this way. It is what it is. Very low to the ground shelter. The poncho is basically laying on me down here, but I've got the tent stakes in. So this is one reason I always talk about bungee cords for shelters. If you're in an OP, um, even just for training, Everything you pull out of your ruck goes right back into it, okay, or on your gear. So food, water, everything, it goes right back to where it was because the priority is if you got to get out of here real quick, I just undo two bungee cords and then on the tent stakes, I put these big old loops on here with 550 cord and it's tied to the stake. So I looped it through the poncho grommet and then put the tent stake in there. So if I've got a bug out in a hurry, I just gotta rip this out of the ground and the tent stakes come with it. And then I just shove everything in the ruck, close the ruck up and get the hell out of there. So that's why I talk about OPs and all this stealth and Minuteman stuff. It's very different from just camping. You know, if you're bored or next time you're doing some training with your group, go out there and set up some OPs. Practice setting up patrol bases and then send OPs out and try to do everything from the prone, everything, including poop and pee. It sucks. Also, if you have more than two guys, you can practice rotating between OPs. So guys shouldn't be at the OP. If, if you have a group at a patrol base, two guys shouldn't be at an OP for 24 hours, all right? That's ridiculous. You wanna also try to rotate your OPs throughout your patrol base all right so you could do an hour on two hours if you got two guys two to four hours out there in the op is good because that's a good time frame they're gonna stay alert and stay awake and then they rotate back to the patrol base and get their rest and you know that's all just situation dependent but next time you're doing some training don't just walk around and, and shoot guns and ruck and stuff like that do some overnighters with your guys actually set up some OPs and enforce security and discipline, all right? So it's easy to sit in a camp on a stool or a stump and dig through your bag and do whatever you want. It's a whole other ball game to try to do everything laying down without making a whole bunch of noise and movement. Also, in crap weather, it's good training. So I'm gonna get back in my OP and my shelter because this sucks. And uh, I'm gonna continue to observe my buddies over there so one more thing about constantly improving your position. We could also gather up some pine or whatever stuff we get off the ground and throw it on top of the poncho. So then at least we don't just have this solid woodland color. So you see there's a lot of brown around us, right? So we would want to throw some of that stuff on top of this. And it doesn't have to be tied up and, or duct taped to it or anything. You know, you just throw some stuff on there grab a handful of mud dump it on there whatever you can do to help blend this thing into the ground it's gonna help big time am I gonna spend the night out here absolutely training is training so stay tuned for the second part of that
out.